Hi and welcome to another episode of Heritage FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to catch up with the mid-season of 2034-2035. If you've been following the series you will know that we've been stuck in this league for a few seasons now. Let's go have a look at the history. Um, history? Yeah, so this is our fifth season in this league and uh, I was really concerned uh, this was just going to become an endless loop of just avoiding relegation without actually making any improvements. So I put my brain into it and I decided to follow the board's advice and made some tactical ch tactical changes. And voila, we are third of the league. After um, I made the changes, we started to climb up the league. We're third in the league. We also managed to reach the fourth round of the FA Cup. It's probably going to be our last round because we're playing Liverpool. And we are set to play the semi-final of the Papa John's. We've not been to the semi-final or the final in a long time. We've been to the final once and we lost, but we actually never won the trophy. So maybe this year we might. So it's looking good. We also are looking slightly better financially. We didn't dip quite so low. So this is the chart for last year. So in January, or is that? I can't really read this chart properly. I see. January round is around about here, isn't it? So one and a half million, one to 1.3. And this season, we kind of just went just t slightly bit below one and we came back up because we're getting lots more prize money and so on. So if you look at the season, we actually earned quite a lot of prize money compared to last season. Um, what else is different? Players sold. We'll come on to that in a minute. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Obviously, at the end, we'll have a lot more gate receipts as well and TV revenue from all of these things. Talking about transfers, we managed to sell a few players at the start of the season, but also in the winter, we sold Luke Bell. Not because we wanted to sell him, but because he went ahead and agreed a contract with Inverness. So we decided to sell them early and that way we didn't miss out on some cash. So we got 100k from that. Now, in terms of transfers in, we got a few changes. So obviously to replace Luke Bell, we had to buy Louis Alsop. He's not as good, but he's the replacement we could get our hands in um, at the time. In other changes, we got a new striker, Josh Johnson. Just slightly better than Tyler Winters. So Tyler Winters has been relegated to the reserve team. We also got a new uh, white target man for the right. Dave on loan. He's only slightly better than Jamie Knox as well. So Jamie Knox was relegated to the reserves. And also a small improvement in the left side of the fence with Lewis Gordon. He's kind of coming up to the limit of his you know, potential. As in, like, he has gone over the limit. He's quite old, is what I'm trying to say. But I think, just for a little bit, um, he'll, he'll basically get us to the end of the season, and then next year is a whole different story, especially if we get promoted. So, Adam Groom has been relegated to the reserves as well. So those are all of our changes to the squad. We are also going through quite a lot of injuries so if you look at the medical center we've got quite a few players injured this year and long injuries as well so we've been utilizing our youth players a lot more um the under 18s are doing great as always if we look at their fixtures they're pretty good as of late also, they have been plagued with a little bit of injuries as well. So, um, Zach has been out for a few months now. Um, yeah, quite a long, quite a long time to be out for a youth player. The under twenty ones never do really well, so I'm not really surprised about that. Now, um, let's have a look at a match. Shall we? Where are we? So, we're going to play Barnsley. Uh, Barnsley, they're 7th in the league. 
we are currently third. They are doing okay. They're probably going to be quite a tough team to play against, I would imagine. So let's go ahead and play against them. In today's squad, we have two players from the youth squad, just because we have quite a few players that are tired or this guy suspended, a couple of guys also on injury. So we had to do some changes and these two are going to take us through with the main squad. Now I was looking at stadium rules for the leagues. In the championship, so the league above us, our stadium will still qualify under the rules. So the board is not going to be forced to improve the stadium. That would only happen if we get promoted to the Premiership and then we'll be forced to either expand our stadium or build a new one. Which is one of the things that concerns me is just how small our stadium is really. We're not able to host the number of fans that we need to host to get in uh, you know, some good revenue from it. Let me see if there's any applications open in the in the background. My OBS is struggling with encoding, so let me close some stuff up. I'm not sure if it's going to help, but just empty the bin as well, why not? And among all that, we just suffered a goal. So not too great. Two goals. Come on, guys. We can do better. I'm sure we can. So I think this puts us in the promotion playoffs, um, which I think we should be okay to continue to be in the promotion playoff zone. And then whether or not we can actually win those playoffs is a different story. But then we'll catch up at the end of the season to find out in the next episode. Three goals down is not a great place to be. It's hard to come back from that now. Oh man, what's going on? All right, let's do some subs, do all of the subs probably, and then see what the second half brings.
All right, so five subs. So essentially the changes that we made uh, are based around direct football. So we're doing more direct passes and taking more risks that way. And so on, bringing our players forward more. But it does mean that we rely on our defenders doing a good job and our players keeping the possession of the ball as well with these passes. see us um, scoring any goals at this stage. Seems like this game against bon Barnsley is going to be a bit of an eyesore in our record, but it will be okay. We'll come back from it. Of course, the next match is going to be even tougher because it's going to be Liverpool. Probably our toughest match ever, I have to say. I don't think we've played a bigger team than Liverpool for a comp competitive game. Obviously in friendlies we have, but but for a competitive game, not really. 5-0. 5-0. That has not happened in a very, very, very long time. What is going on here? Guys, come on. I think they're very tired. They're They've been playing quite a lot. Right. A little bit of a blip there, but we will we will be fine, I think. We'll play Liverpool next for the FA Cup. And in any case, we'll come back at the end of the season to see where we are with the playoffs and all that. Thanks so much for watching until the end. And I'll see you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.